Hello, I'm Hazreta and I'm employed in New Horizon organization. Our organization is a non-governmental organization founded in 1999 in Ulti in Montenegro. Initially, New Horizon has focused on the area of health education, legal aid for women, support for women households and their children, and other marginalized groups. Nowadays, the mission of the organization is to increase the participation of the citizens in local processes and broader, contributing in, the, in that way to developing the democracy and promoting good governance through the realization of educational and integration programs. Considering the fact that Ulting is a multi-ethnic and multicultural place, our organization, since its founding, has realized several projects that help in improving the inter-ethnic relations. However, the situation in Montenegro hasn't shown any greater improvements, even after many years of work with the civil society. The researchers of the public opinion show that the inter-ethnic relations in Montenegro are not satisfying. Also, the ethnic distance is very high and there is a lack of knowing each other. The results of this research also shown that the biggest ethnic distance is towards Albania and Roma population. Driven by that fact, New Horizon has initiated and realized many projects that encourage inter-ethnic and intercultural dialogue and mitigate the ethnic distance among young people in Montenegro. During past years, our organization has built great partnerships with NGOs from the northern part of Montenegro. Our organization has organized many youth exchange visits among the youth from the south and from the north in order to get to know each other better to eliminate the prejudices and to develop their intercultural skills with a focus on language differences and communication for democratic citizenship. In the context of Montenegro, spatial justice plays a crucial role in addressing various challenges related to urban development, regional disparities and social inclusion. Montenegro is a small Balkan country with diverse landscape and a mix of rural and urban areas faces unique spatial justice consideration. Uh, here are some aspects of spatial justice in the context of Montenegro. Montenegro experiences significant regional disparities with coastal regions and urban centers often enjoying more economic development and infrastructure investments compared to rural and inland areas. Spatial justice aims to bridge these gaps by ensuring the resources, opportunities and services are distributed more equitably across the country. This involves promoting inclusive regional development strategies that take into account the specific needs and potential of different areas. Tourism and coastal development. Montenegro's stunning Adriatic coasting attracts significant tourism and is investment, leading to challenges in balancing economic development with environmental preservation and spatial equity. Special justice advocates for sustainable tourism practice that benefit local communities and protect the natural and cultural heritage of coastal areas. It also encourages the equitable distribution of tourism generated benefits, ensuring the local residents have access to job opportunities and socio-economics advancements. Like many countries, Montenegro experiences a rural-urban divide with urban area often having better access to services, infrastructure, the economic opportunities. Special justice aims to address this by promoting rural development initiatives, improving connectivity and transportation links to rural areas, and ensuring access to basic services, education, 
health care and employment opportunities for rural communities. It also supports the preservation of rural landscapes and traditional livelihoods. Minority and marginalized communities. Montenegro is home to diverse ethnic and minority communities, including Albanians, Bosniaks, Croats, and Roma. Special justice emphasizes the inclusion and empowerment for these communities, ensuring their access to quality education, health care, housing, and cultural resources. It promotes the integration of marginalized communities within urban areas addressing issues of special segregation and discrimination. Environmental sustain sustainability. Montenegro natural beauty, including national parks, mountains and lakes, is a valuable asset. Spatial justice calls for the protection and sustainable management of these resources, ensuring that all Montenegrin citizens have access to clean and healthy environments. It encourages the promotion of green spaces, ecological planning, and environmentally friendly practices in urban and rural areas alike. To achieve special justice in Montenegro, it is essential to adopt inclusive and participatory approaches in urban planning and decision-making processes. Engaging local communities, civil society organizations and marginalized groups in shaping spatial policies and development plans can help to ensure that their voices are heard and their specific needs are considered. Additionally, a comprehensive approach to regional development with the focus on bringing rural urban gaps and promoting sustainable and equitable tourism can contribute to spatial justice and enhance the overall well-being of all Montenegrin citizens.